following her accusations that Brad Pitt was attempting to use a harsh contract to control her, Angelia Jolie has begun a legal offensive to compel him to disclose the number of gagging order agreements she has requested employees to sign. The Oscar winners have been embroiled in a protracted legal struggle for years regarding their divorce, child custody, and Chateau Mirabel. Jolie made a shocking accusation earlier this week, saying that she had been physically abused by Pitt more than once on a private jet in 2016. She also claimed that there had been additional incidents before to that. Additionally, she claimed that Pitt had made an unconscionable attempt to control her during the Mirable sale discussions by asking her to sign a non-disclosure agreement, NDA. She claimed that this was the reason she declined to give Pitt her portion of the estate and, in 2021, infuriated her ex by selling her vineyard piece to Russian millionaire Yuri Scheffler. Pitt's attorneys replied on Friday by filing a motion requesting that Jolie reveal any other non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, she signed with outside parties, including her own employees. According to the court documents, his attorney John Berlinski stated, It would be highly probative of whether Jolie truly believed the provision requested by Pitt was an unconscionable gag order. If she conditional her continued employment of an individual on that individual's agreement to an NDA covering what they witnessed in her home, including her treatment of her children in Pitt, the same holds true for any non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, that Jolie may have with anyone she dates or who has helped to look after the couple's kids. If Jolie asked for this third party to keep quiet about her family or personal life, especially in a situation where there was no business reason to do so. It would be clear whether or not she thought Pitt's requested NDA, which had to do with the Mirabel business, was a deal breaker, as she later claimed. Two letters were presented to the court by Jolie's legal team. One from April 2021 included her own draft non-disparagement agreement, and the other came from her U.S. divorce lawyer six months after she withdrew from the Mirabel sale and purportedly suggested an even more expansive NDA as part of her divorce from Pitt. For Pitt to equate common NDAs covering confidential information employees learn at work, with him trying to cover up his history of abuse, is frankly shameful. Jolie's attorney, Paul Murphy, told Page Six that her only desires were health and separation. After all these years, she deserves tranquility. We have contacted Pitt for a response. The most recent chess move was made one day after Jolie stated in court documents that Pitt had abused her before the now-famous 2016 aircraft incident, which prompted her to file for divorce. In the ongoing dispute between the ex-couple over Mirabel, the actress's legal team filed a move on April 4, requesting access to correspondence that they claimed show Pitt, 60, refused to allow Jolie, 48, to sell her portion of the vineyard to him unless she signed a more onerous and expansive non-disclosure agreement. While Pitt's history of physical abuse of Jolie started well before the family's September 2016 plane trip from France to Los Angeles, Jolie's attorneys asserted in the new document. This flight marked the first time he turned his physical abuse on the children as well. Jolie then departed him right away. However, a close friend of Pitt stated to page 6, What happened on a plane in 2016 isn't relevant to this case. It concerns whether they entered into a contract promising not to sell their shares in the family house and winery without the other's approval. Brad and his group are concentrating on that and the legal momentum is currently working in their favor. A in NDA is a type of normal commercial contract that is intended to safeguard the asset being sold, in this case Jolie's ownership of Chateau Mirabel. It's unclear why, only a few months after her own attorneys proposed a mutually binding gagging agreement as part of their divorce, she finds this so unbecoming. Scheffler's 10% stake in the shares he purchased from Jolie has been temporarily revoked by a Luxembourg court, making Pitt the sole stakeholder. Jolie's attempts to have Pitt's primary breach of contract claim dismissed, which is presently pending in California, will continue. Pitt is asking the L.A. Superior Court to void the sale entirely. On May 16, a disclosure hearing is scheduled. This year's full trial is not anticipated.